Happy Saturday special. Um, I love these Saturdays where I can chat with you what I've learned. So it's an accountability for me, but also an accountability for all of us that we can invest in ourselves once a week and learn from our 12 Days of Diamonds that is a free service for us, you guys. It's awesome that we have this opportunity where we can actually get free education all the time. And I challenge you to comment, post. The only way we're going to learn and grow together is as we comment and share with each other what we're learning so we can help each other um, in this business. It's always better to do it when we're um, with each other and holding each other accountable. So with that, I'm going to share with you two oils and how I use them so that you guys can kind of see maybe you're not sure how to use the essential oils to help you in your business. So I put on Abundance and Believe most days. Hey, Norma. And I literally take a drop of Abundance. I smell it and say I'm abundantly surrounded by lots of members who are placing amazing orders to take care of their health. I'm abundantly surrounded by full classes. I'm abundantly surrounded by builders who are coming out of the woodworks who are um, ready to help get a healthier lifestyle and make this a business. Next, I'm putting on believe. I believe that God can help put people in my path so that I can bless their lives. I believe that God can help me find the builders and know where they're at. I believe that every postcard that I send out, people will receive it with care and they will fill of my love. So you put the affirmations with it, but that's what I've been doing. You can diffuse it. If you don't like the smells, put it on your feet. But that is what's going to help you grow in your business is using Help Elevate your frequencies and frequencies, high frequencies attract high frequencies. So as we continue to believe that people are in our path, don't say, I don't know anyone. Believe and have the abundance that people are ready to get started right now. So I just wanted to share that tip before I do Saturday um, special. But this special that I posted earlier today is Eric Walton. And I just forgot his wife's name. I took his training last year. It's called Downline Leadership. I highly recommend it to every single person. I believe that we all need it. It's about $600, um, and it's a 12-week program. You get on a call once a week, and then they give you action steps. You read through a chapter, and you talk about it. It's amazing, and you only do it with like six to eight women, eight people, um, and then you learn together from all over the United States. So I highly recommend it. Eric Walton, I think they're diamond leaders um, is what I caught, but... Um, I'm going to give you my take home and would love for you guys to share your take home as well and what action step you're going to do with it. So something that I loved about um, Eric Walton and his wife talking about, you need to have a system and they have a system of five pillars. I've always used the system of the three E's and he mentioned that. I always say first educate. So you're going to educate anyone that comes in your path. You're going to educate your leaders. You're going to educate your future members. You're going to educate your members. Number two, you're going to enroll them. You're going to enroll them with a PSK to get started, and you're going to enroll them in Essential Rewards because we're teaching the lifestyle. And the third one is I always say you empower to share. You're getting everybody out there to share, whether they're going to make it a business or not, but you empower them. And all you do that, this three-step process, he talks about a five-step process that he takes, and you can adopt this one as well. Typically, a leader will start out, people adopt it, and then they start finding out what they're what they want to adopt and what is their plan to help people um, get out there and share. So first he said, business owners need to take action and not have it as a hobby, but to create it as a business. So there's two words he said, builders and leaders need to be consistent, which is on a daily basis, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, being consistent. Then he says you need to be persistent, which you figure out a way if something's not working, you think like a CEO and you figure it out. I promise you'll be able to figure it out. If you have a will, there is a way. So I love those two words he says, and then I'm going to go quickly into the five steps he talks about. Number one, um, him and his wife talk about share. You need to share. So probably when you first started sharing, it's all your warm market, people that know you and you're connecting with them. Then it gets a little bit trickier. You go out in the cold market and you kind of talk to people who your friends know. So still just get out there and share. But the thing that I learned most from this is use every moment that God gives you to share with someone. Bring your products with you. Use them everywhere you go. 
Um, and I love that he says that, you know, and practice makes progress. It's not going to make it perfect, but the more you share, the more comfortable you're going to get doing it. I remember when I first started Young Living, oh my gosh, my whole entire body was red, sweaty, palmy, had no script, didn't know what I was doing. And guess what? That was the fastest I've ever grown is when I didn't know anything. So I promise you, as you continue to do it and overcome those fears, you will bless people's lives and you're sharing. Number two, he said one of the key things in Young Living to Grow is follow-up. Fortune is in the follow-up. We always have heard that word before you, if you haven't, they say it all the time. Fortune's in the follow-up. Why? Because it shows you care. A lot of times you may think in your head, oh, but I'm bugging them. You're not, I promise. You are blessing them, you are helping them, and we just have to switch that mindset instead of saying, oh, I'm afraid I'm going to bug them too much. Nope, I am here to bless their lives and I'm following up with them. Just checking in on them. Don't your friends come in and check in with you? So he talks about that following up. There's all different ways to follow up. You can call on the phone, which is the best way. Um, I know Sean always tells us, get on that phone and talk, and it's true. Then... Um, the next way you can follow up is, um, in, oh, in person is the best way. Then phone call, then text or email um, to do a follow-up, check in with them. I did a training, um, and I'm sure many of you have done this training with Sarah Harnish and her book um, with the Game Plan Boot Camp, three days, 10 days, 30. It's called the 31030. Actually, I learned it first from Terry Sree Seacrest, who's a Royal Crown Diamond. She did a training in um, Lansing a couple years ago. But she talks about you follow up with your future members, with your members, with your leaders. Follow up with them. Check in with them. Show you care. That's all what follow up is. What can I do to help you? Um, and when you go do a party, Eric Walton says within 24 hours, you should be messaging them, connecting with them. So that's the key thing is connecting. And that's what all my training was on was downline leadership was connect with people. So there's that 3, 10, 30, then day 10, follow up again, and then day 30. It's not a once a month thing. When you've enrolled one person, this is what you should be doing. Taking care of them, don't you? When you love someone, you care about them, you check in with them. Number three, he says, educate. You first have to educate yourself. So just like what you're doing right now, you're doing personal development, whether it's in scriptures, journal, learning from someone. You got to educate yourself. Learn the premium starter kit. If you don't know how to use lavender which I'm surprised if you wouldn't, use it. If you don't know how to use frankincense or you don't know anything about it, just Google it. You guys, Google is on the internet, access. Then the next thing is teaching your people. If you have one person on your team, love on them, meet up with them, go through the kit together, learn together. It's so much fun. It's better that you don't know everything. Let's do this together. Okay, he talks about that, and he says it's not a kit sell. We're not about salespeople, you guys. We are about loving and sharing. So if you're just getting them with the premium starter kit and they're not doing essential rewards, that's a kit sell. That sells. We want to make it the lifestyle, the health and wellness, and that's essential rewards. So he says just learn as you go. And number four pillar is service. Be a servant leader. This was all his training on downline leadership. He was a head guy in a huge business field, and then he came home when his wife um, reached Diamond. They're a little bit older, he said. Um, but service, be a servant leader. Now, Young Living does the seed to seal. They, do, they plant for us. They take care of our plants for us. They distill for us. They do the labels. They seal it. But guess what? Our part is to be the servant leader, to go and reach out to our people. What can I do to help you? Or if maybe they got a crack in one of their oils and don't know what to do, give them the customer service phone number. So all of those different things we can do to bless them and to serve them. What can I do to serve? One of the greatest books that I've listened to on Audible on Amazon is called Never Lose a Customer Again. It's all about loving your people. Love them. When you love them, I'm telling you, it will come to your mind what you need to do for them. Okay, um, and then the last pillar that he talked about is build. Build yourself up. Can I tell you, it's a very simple plan, Young Living, but it's hard to do every day, all day, when you get a no here, a no there, someone doesn't respond to you, you kind of feel, Bleh. that's why I need my oils to elevate my frequency, my excitement, my energy, and my purpose of why I'm doing this mission. So he says, first build, find ways to build yourself up. Um, we do every Thursday. We talk about therapy Thursday. It's huge. Take care of you. Then 
you can help build your customers, your leaders, and build each other up. So every Wednesday, we do a Wow Wednesday. I challenge you to take that opportunity to wow someone on your team. Wow a leader that is doing something. Maybe they shared a sample. Let's highlight each other and build each other up. The best thing we can do is help each other. Just build them up. Um, and that's what he talks about. Um, to really build each other up and, and helping each other, cross-line friend. It doesn't have to be someone even on your team, but building each other up and watching the good things that they're doing, sending them a fun text and building them up. So these are my take-homes. My action step that I got from this action step is what are the things that I'm going to do? My goal is to use more products in public. So I just joined Fit Body Boot Camp a couple month, uh, month and a half ago. And I'm going to use more products intentionally. Um, in front of people, my hand purifier, my deep relief, my, um, my Ninja Red um, sachet packets. I'm going to do it intentionally. I'm going to use it more so that I can have opportunities to share with people. And then follow up. Um, I am going to go through all my personal enrollments and also my future members, which we used to say prospects, but I'm all about talking about our future members and finding ways I can connect with them. So Please share in the comments what you've learned from Eric Walton um, for our Saturday special. I'd love to see what you guys are learning and I get to learn from you. So have a great Saturday.